haul with you guys. So I'm trying to get the chair and everything in the frame for you. So welcome. I will now be doing occasional, maybe twice a month thrift haul videos to show you guys what I'm buying, what I'm thrifting, what I'm upcycling. Um, the light's going in and out a little. I apologize. I'm doing this in my kitchen because there is so much goodness. So the first thing I want to show you is this vintage chair I found in my local thrift store. This was $24 and it has some amazing detail on it. Close up. It's got some really pretty woodwork, cute little heart. The legs are really sturdy. It's a good chair. It's just a little bit old. So like I said, I got this one for $24. I'm going to go ahead and recover it because it could use some new fabric and then maybe paint it a pretty blue color and do some cute llama fabric and it'd be awesome for like a little girl's room or like a kid's room. And I apologize. I don't know why the... I'm going to get the chair down and then I'm going to adjust the camera and see if that will help with the light dimming in and out. I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right, like I said, this is my first one, so bear with me. I've done a couple of live YouTube ones, but this is my first, I mean, <laughs> live Facebook, but this is my first YouTube one. Okay, so what I didn't explain in the beginning is these items were all thrifted, and some are from Goodwill, and some for, from a local church's thrift store. So there's a mix. So this one came from Goodwill, and it's a cute angel, and it was $5.99. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one yet, whether I'm just going to give it a new coat of white and then maybe do some highlighting with gold, or if I'm going to paint it like one solid cute color to change it up a little. But I know this one will probably be in my shop for Christmas time. And if you're wondering what my shop is, I do have a physical store now. So if you are in Florida and you're in the Daytona Beach area, you can visit my booth inside of Nicole's Beach Street Mall at 140 North Beach Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, or some small items I will begin posting on my Etsy shop as well. So I'll put those links below for you guys. So we have the angel. And then next up, I'm always thinking ahead for the shop because right now it's September and I'm starting to get all my fall stuff in there and then come October, I'm gonna have Halloween. And by November, I'm gonna want Christmas. And then once all the Christmas stuff clears out, January, February, we're gonna start thinking about spring. So I found this guy who was terracotta and has had some chippy paint love, but could use a new fresh coat. He was $2. So I'm probably just going to paint it a pretty like pink or a green, something nice for the spring, clear coat him. This one was two. And because he's a bigger one, I'll probably sell it for like $8.95, $9.95 in my booth. So I'll put those two aside. And then, like I said, with the holidays coming, these were a great find. These are like cast iron, and they're for hanging your stockings. So this one was a rocking horse. It's normally $3, but all Christmas was 50% off in the shop. So I got that guy. And this one, I'll bring it closer. So you can see it's a snowman one. And I'll grab the horse one too, so you can see that better. And all the little packages, it's a little rocking horse. Now these guys are, they feel like a cast iron, but it's really hard to see the detail, so I'll probably do a whitewash on them so that all the little bits show up on it. And then again, with Christmas coming, I just picked up a Santa, set of Santa salt and pepper shakers. They were a dollar each, but 50% off, so 50 cents each. And these, I haven't decided how much these are going to be in my shop or if they'll end up on my Etsy shop. I have a thing for salt and pepper shakers lately. I don't know what it is. And then again with fall, this one was at Goodwill. It was like one of their last pumpkins for 99 cents, so I picked him up. This one I think is going to go in my house, though. I don't think this one will go in my shop because I have a ton of those going on right now. And then I'm always looking for candle options. So this... This has been painted before, and this was $2, which is a really good price. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Iron Orchid Design molds. If you're not familiar with that, I will be doing some videos on what molds are and paper clay, 
And I'm going to do some decorative molds here and then give it a whole new color. So this was two and once it's done, it'll be maybe like a $14.95 type item because it's pretty big, like maybe 18 inches and it hangs on the wall and you can put a candle in it. So that'll be good maybe for springtime in the shop. We'll see. And then I'm always looking for candlesticks. And these are actually plastic that are silver. And I know most people look at them and be like, oh, they're shiny silver. How are you gonna, how are you gonna paint those? You're gonna use spray paint? Well, I don't use spray paint because of uh, the fumes and everything. I have found a brand of paint called Deb's DIY Paint. It is a clay-based paint that will pretty much go over anything. Shiny things, you may have to do two coats, do like a light first coat and a gentle second coat, and it's all non-toxic, safe to use indoors. So what I like to do is I like to have a variety of different heights and shapes of candle holders in my booth in the store so people can kind of pick and choose. So what these guys will happen will, I've got these two tall ones and these two short ones. They were all $2 each. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to be once I finish painting them. These were two and they're little. So these may be like $6.95 each and these may be like $8 or $9.95. I'm not sure yet. Well, they'll get a coat of black paint. Let that dry really well. Seal it. Then two coats of white paint. And then what I'll do is I'll wipe back some of the white to show the black through and you'll have farmhouse style candle holders from what was originally bright silver plastic. So I'm excited to start working on those. Get those out of the way. And then, I'm sure you guys see these, but I'm gonna save, save the best for last here. Then I found these little guys, which are great little, I'll bring them forward, 99 cent mirrors. These were Goodwill. And again, paint it up. You'll really be able to see the detail well. This, I'm thinking either soft pinks or soft grays because these would be really cute in like a bathroom or like a little girl's room in a soft pink or soft gray, a nursery. So they're 99 cents each painted. They'll probably be like $6.95, $7.95 each in my shop. And if there's anything you see that you like and you're wondering what I'm going to do with it, you can always feel free to message me. And if I've not put it in the shop yet, shop yet, we can always talk about shipping and painting and colors. I'm always willing to take custom orders. So again, with the salt and pepper shakers, I was in Goodwill and I found these guys. It's a little chicken, little duck. It says PNS salt and pepper. They were 99 cents each. I need to look up online um, because they're from Taiwan. So I need to see what they if they typically retail for, and then I'll put a price. But these I don't think will sell in my booth because the area I'm in is more coastal, a little farmy, but this is a little more country. So I think these are going to go on my Etsy shop. So stay tuned for that. And lastly, I had my eyes on these for two weeks. And these were like my dream haul because I have a thing for mirrors. I got each of these for $10, guys. Are you ready for this beautiful... I'm trying to do it without blinding you. So it's a beautiful gold, there you go, ornate mirror. This is like a plastic, but it does it is does have some green patina on it. So I'm not sure what the coating is. I got this one for $10. I'll paint it and then wipe it back to the gold. And I'll probably end up going for mm, between 50 and 60 in my store. And this other guy, I also got for $10. And it has this beautiful ornate woodwork on it. But some of it is a little chip, so I'm gonna have to do some repair. So the main body is plastic, but that part is painted wood. I'm gonna flip it around here. There you go. And you can see there's been a little chipping there. So I know how to, there's stuff out there that you can make molds. So I'm gonna see if there's enough left for me to go ahead and make a mold of that and do some repairs on it. But that was basically it guys. So for about, let's see, 10, 20, 
under probably under fifty dollars, maybe forty five. I got all these items, and I'm sure maybe you'll see some videos. Maybe I'll show you how I paint up the mirror. But you'll see those coming to my channel, or if you follow me on Instagram or my Facebook, I'll put all of that below. I like to do a lot of before and after shots if I don't have time to film it. You'll at least get to see what I did with them. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my latest releases. And give me some feedback. Do you like these thrift haul videos? What would you like to see more of? My channel is changing from just art journaling and mixed media. It's going to be more DIY, life, thrifting, upcycling. You know, all the stuff we get into as adults. So like I said, be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe and I will be thrifting and seeing you guys again soon.